Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce Hunt. I hope you are good and doing well. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about Summer 24 new feature in Apex that is evaluate dynamic formula in Apex that is beta but we can learn this feature in our pre-release org. So how we can do that? So first of all you have to open any editor as you have let's say developer console, VS code and any kind of editor as you have. Right now I'm using VS Code, so let me open my VS Code. So here you can see my VS Code, I have just created one Apex class, that is Dynamic Formula. You can see this Apex class. And under this one, and before starting this feature, let me tell you what is Evolute Dynamic Formula in Apex. So this is the Summer 24 feature. With this feature, avoid unnecessary DML statements to recalculate formula fields values or evaluate dynamic formula expression. So this is all about like what is the evaluate dynamic formula in Apex. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to open this Apex class. So you can create any class as you have. So right now I'm using this dynamic formula Apex class. Now under this class, you have to write one method. So how we can write the method? So I'm right now I'm using non-static method. So public void, let's say get data, something like that. Okay. So here, this is the my method. Under this method, you can instance your S object. So right now I'm using like contact as a S object. So now let me instantiate this contact con equal to new contact. Right. So here you can see the instance like con. After that, you can access all the fields regarding this object. That is salutation. And salutation, it can be anything. In my case, I'm using like Mr. Okay, and then con dot first name. First name you can give any name as you want. For now, I'm giving my name and last name con dot last name. Last name, it can be anything. For my case, I'm using my name. Okay, and also con dot like birth date because uh, I have two scenarios. First is like how we can calculate the first name, last name, and then birth birth date. Okay. So these two scenarios we will cover in this session. So please don't skip any part of this video. Okay. So first of all, here you can see con birthday equal to date dot new instance. So first of all, I'm giving my date of birth. Let's say this one and one, one, something like that. So this is a prerequisite. You have stance your as object. And after that, now you can do here in this method, like a formula evaluations, how we can use this one. So Salesforce already give this one formula eval. Okay. So this class have lots of method that is formula instance. Okay. So how we can access that method? So using dot operator, like we have a method that is formula instance. So we have to use this one. After this one, you can create any variable as you have, let's say new demo something like that equal to then formula dot builder so we have to use formula dot builder so under builder this is the method right under this method we have another one that is with right we have to use this with return type so how we can use with return type okay type and under this method, we have to pass like formula eval, like formula eval dot formula written type. So formula written type. And uh, the written type is like a string. So you have to use like a string. After that dot, we have to use with type. With type. Which type of, you know, as object we have. So with type is like contact is the object and every object have a class so contact is the class so we have to use contact dot class okay after that you can use like dot and with formula so here is the mid part of this feature that is with formula under this formula we can write the formula let's say in single quote i want to write like text formula so under this text formula i can use Let's say uh, salutation, that is uh, this one. So you can just copy it, 
paste it here right once you've done it now you can give one space then you can concatenate under this concatenation you can give like some space like double back it then plus and under here you can use your variable that is first name right so this is the first name after first name you can give the plus again and some space double quote and some space and concatenate the last name so this is the formula as you know very well we can check this formula inside the salesforce okay it will be valid after that you can uh, add this build method so this build method to build your formula right and then semicolon after that you can debug your formula so how we can debug it look system.debug we can debug it okay so under here let's say name okay so we can concatenate let's say here you can see the new demo just copy this new demo paste it here dot evaluate so under evaluate you can pass your s object instance so right now i'm using like cone so in my case i'm using this code let me try to save this class and deploy and once you save this class now let's see how we can execute and how we can see the output of this apex class so once you deploy your class now you have to do one thing just go to the execute anonymous window in vs code and this is a non-static method so non-static method we can call with the help of instance name so first of all let me copy this class name paste it here create the instance of this class like this and after that you can call that get method here so how we can execute this we can execute using there are two tricks here first is execute and another one uh, control c p like control sub p and search like execute on your code apex on your code right you can execute this code like that so once you execute now immediately you can see my name mr rohit kujja right it means this is the output okay our apex uh, this formula evaluations so here you can see the tags and uh, salutation first name and last name so you can see the output here so this is the output here okay and how many years we have our is so you can check out here so let me create another things and for time being let me copy this one everything paste it here right and here we have to use another things to calculate the is so instead of a string in this time i want to use like integer because is is integer always right and contact dot class leave it as it is and now we have to change the formula so let me remove everything from this formula like that and here now you have to use in single quote like floor method like you can use like floor method as well here so once you use this flow under here you have to use like today one like today is the predefined function like today okay under this today we can uh, use that is minus operator and the birth date okay so how we can calculate the birth date so as you know uh, we have like a birth date so we can calculate this field just copy this one here birth date and then you can divide divide it by 365 days so you can calculate easily right so once you calculate this formula now here we have some error what is the error okay so here we have to use like new is something like that so let me save this also you can copy this and here we can use like new is right let me close it let me try to save this and let me execute this formula once we deploy this code now successfully deploy our code now how we can calculate the number of years of the birth date right from today to uh, your birth date so just under here you can calculate execute this one and now in debug you can see like 30 right 30 years so based on this dob like 1994 like 1st january and first month right first uh, january and first month 1994 so based on this date and today date we can calculate how many years we have as a birth date right so let me change this one let's say age let me 
click on the save and once you deploy this class now you can execute this you know class so just open the execute on any window try to execute control shift p and search like uh, apex execute on any window and now our code is running here now you can see the output please focus this is most important this is the our output here you can see the full name with the salutation first name and last name this is a salutation first name last name and this is the age based on your input it's automatic calculate your age like how many years we have based on the age like birth date okay so now you can see this out so this is the final out okay so this is how you can use this new feature summer 24 dynamic formula in apex beta so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comments subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys